You may enter. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Stacy. Oh, hello. You must be the new PA. The what? The PA, darling. The personal assistant? Well, uh, uh, yeah, I guess you could call me that. My name is Peggy, but I'm not sure if you've seen me before on the silver screen. Oh, I don't watch much telly, to be honest. Telly? Telly? How dare you? I work in cinema. The movies. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... It's quite all right, darling. Quite all right. So, you m mentioned you work on films? Anything I would know? I've worked on many films and worked with many talents. Ridley Scott, Julian Fellows. In fact, the last film, I... Well, it doesn't matter. Ridley Scott. He directed Gladiator, didn't he? That's right. You're not as thick as you look. Oh, I'm joking, darling. You need to keep a sense of humour in this business because the bastards will grind you down. Is this your first time on a film set? Um... Yeah. Yeah, it is. Are you nervous? I am a little bit, yeah. I won't lie to you. Well, I promise. I won't give you too much bother. Well, thank you, Peggy, because the... the studio would really like me to look after you and, and make sure you're comfortable. So, is there anything I could get you? Oh, um, an espresso. And for lunch, I'd like to have grilled salmon and wild rice. I'll see what I can do, but I think it's tuna salad today. Is that okay? Oh, I suppose it's better than nothing. Some poor little mite in a third world country is picking their dinner out of a bin tonight, so I really can't complain. <laughs> well, that's a great positive attitude to have, Peggy. You've got to be happy with what you've got. I gotta be honest, I was a little bit worried about working with you today because some of the other girls said you could be a little bit of a diva. Oh, I am a diva, darling. Diva means a female deity. Well, at least that's what it meant originally, until somewhere along the lines it got associated with being a stroppy countryside. Why don't we take a nice walk on the countryside? We could go to the beach, perhaps, get some food out somewhere. Wow. A stroll on the beach would be nice, but when is court time? The what? Oh, honestly, darling, if you're going to work in the biz, you really must learn the lingo. Uh, I'll try my best, but what do you mean? What time am I needed on set? Oh. Um, 8 p.m., I think, but I'm not sure. I'll find out. We'll, we'll have plenty of time. We can get some fish and chips, if you like. I fancy a race all myself. Have you ever had a wrist or Peggy? Just because I speak with this accent. I'm still bloody Welsh. <laughs> of course I've had a wrist or. In fact, I think I'll have one as well. So, what made you become an actress, Peggy? I was nine years old and I was at the cinema. And I remember being overwhelmed with all kinds of emotion. How that magical light beaming behind me in the dark would create heroes and monsters. Because I knew I wanted to be involved somehow, and I knew there and then this was going to be my life. So I started putting on plays with my friends. The stories I created were pretty poor, but <laughs> oh, I just loved to perform. I told myself, I can't stop until I see myself on that screen. Wow, <laughs> well, that's amazing. I never became hugely successful. I never went hungry. And I saw the world. And there were plenty of times I saw that magical light create me on the screen. Regardless of whether it's a second or a minute. It always takes me back to being that little nine-year-old girl. Well, that's lovely, Peggy. And how are you feeling about the future? I feel great about the future. Why? 
Oh, uh, never mind, it's just... I want you to know that I'm here. I'm here to help. Are you enjoying your first day at work? Oh, I don't know. I just... I don't want to mess things up. You can do the degree and read all the books about this type of thing until the cows come home, but... Nothing really prepares you for when you're doing it for real. But I've had a lovely day with you, Peggy. My darling, you're doing just fine. <gasps> you go far in this industry. <laughs> Thank you, Peggy. Um, is it anything gay you? <gasps> well, you can start by getting me that rissole you mentioned earlier. <laughs> oh, great idea. I'm starving. <laughs> I'm just going to the toilet. I'll be back in a second. Is that okay, Peggy? That's all right, darling. I'll just rehearse my line. Okay. Who's got my script? <laughs> Sorry, love. My script. It was here a minute ago. I haven't seen you with any script. No, it was here. I had it. Okay. Don't talk to me as if I'm an idiot. I know I had a script. Which one of you people has taken my script? You're safe. My goodness. I it's okay, Peggy. We'll go back home now. <sighs> okay? Mm. Mm. Are you okay? Mm. I'm fine, darling. Thanks. I hope I'm not bothering you, John. It's fine. Listen, I wanted to speak to you anyway, see how you're settling in. So how's it going? It's Peggy. I know I'm new here and I've got a lot to learn, but she thinks she's an actress on a film set. I played along and I've been feeling guilty. I just I didn't want to upset her. Have I done the wrong thing? You do realise Peggy used to be a professional actress. Well, she was a bit part player. But she's appeared in loads of films. So we actually encourage the staff to play along with certain parts of dementia. So don't worry about it. You're doing fine. OK? You must be the new PA. Yeah, I guess you could call me that. 